If you've been struggling in the stock market for this year or the past few years and you're thinking about quitting, I'm going to challenge you to flip your mindset. This is something I learned from Mark Minervini, two-time U.S. investment champion, uh, all-American rags to riches story. He, with an eighth grade education, he dropped out at eighth grade, he grew a $3,000 account to many, many, many millions and has been educating investors like myself for 40 years. Okay, he hasn't been <laughs> he hasn't been educating me for 40 years, but he's been investing for 40 years. Anyway, what you may not know about him is that his first five years of investing, he lost money every year, a lot of money. It took him six years before he had a profitable year. I think that the average investor after an unsuccessful year in the market, certainly two unsuccessful um, years in a row, they probably would give up. They'd say the market is rigged. The little guy can't make any money. This is all random. I give up. Um, but he didn't give up. And what he did instead was with each year, despite the losses, he realized that he was learning and improving and getting closer to his goal. And with each month that went by, each unsuccessful month, he got more excited and he would say, man, I'm really getting close to getting good at this now. Another few months would go by, a year would go by, he still would see, um, not profits, but his account in the red and it wouldn't bother him. He would, he would just feel like, man, I am getting so close now. And that's what he did month after month after month. And then finally, in his sixth year, he said that in just a few months, he made more money than in his, in his entire life, more money than he imagined possible. So that's what we need to do if we are struggling as an investor is to not give up, but realize we are learning from the school of hard knocks and getting closer and closer to our goal of being a successful, profitable investor. Now look, there's only six mistakes that you're making. So pause and reflect. Either um, your entry points are too overextended, you're not being disciplined in your entry points, you're not using sell stops, or you're setting your sell, sell stops too tight and crimping, crimping things off, your financial analysis is poor, although that probably isn't the problem. Doing basic fundamental analysis on companies is pretty easy, actually. Or lastly, which um, was my hardest problem for years, is just um, going against the market. Your, your timing of the market sucked. You're long when you should be short. Or it's a whipsaw market and you should be sitting on your hands in cash and instead you keep um, throwing yourself into the saw blade, so to speak. So don't get discouraged. Flip your mindset. Realize with each day in the market, you're learning, you're getting close, closer to your goal. Uh, reflect and keep climbing that mountain. By the way, why did it take Minervini five years? Well, because when he started investing in uh, the early 80s, there weren't any good investment books out there. Um, there was no internet. There was no YouTube for him to watch tutorials and trainings. He didn't have a mentor. He had to figure it out all on his own through trial and error. And nowadays, look at all of these tremendous resources that we have. Um, you know, just for example, I've got some great investing books in the description of this video. Those alone are, um, you know, better than a four years education in investing. You can watch YouTube tutorials like this one, and you can look at charts in real time and annotate them. Uh, Minervini was getting the quotes out of the newspaper and charting them on graph paper. Okay, don't forget to like the video. Please check out my uh, partner Seeking Alpha Premium for um, an excellent what, library of fundamental analysis articles. And if you're interested in seeing my portfolio and focus list, you can check out my Patreon 
link in the description. So, if you're struggling, flip your mindset. 